Let's jump in and take a look at the demonstration on how to extract data from HubSpot using Fivetran. So here we've got my Fivetran dashboard. I've already logged into my Fivetran account and I'm using a Snowflake destination here for, for the purposes of this demo. So all I need to do is choose Add Connector and then I'm going to pick the, the connector that I want to connect to from the list and then click on Continue Setup. First thing we need to do is to give the destination schema a name in, in Snowflake. So I'm going to call it Six and Flow HubSpot. And then all we have to do is to click on Authorize. When I click on Authorize, um, if I just flick a tab here to, to my HubSpot dashboard, I've already logged in to HubSpot and provided those credentials to HubSpot. So because I've already provided the credentials, from the five time dashboard, all I simply do is need to, need to do is to click on authorize. And that will use those credentials that I've already provided, and then it'll connect to, to HubSpot using those credentials. So there we can see the credentials have been successfully authorized. We click on save and test. And then the next step is that five time is going to use those credentials to log in and connect to the HubSpot API. Once we've successfully connected to the HubSpot API, we can click on continue. And then the next step will be that Fivetran is going to use the API to retrieve the schema of all the tables and columns available to me. So here I can choose to sync all data or I can choose specific columns to, to block or hash. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm not going to sync all the data. I'll just choose specific columns to, to sync. So Fivetran is now connecting to the HubSpot API and retrieving that schema so that I can pick and choose the tables and columns that I want to sync. So now Fivetran has successfully retrieved the schema for us to choose what data we want to sync. We can click on Review Connector Schema. In here, I've got a list of all 543 tables that are available to me to sync. Uh, I won't sync them all, but I will sync a few. Uh, let's just pick a few at random here. And At this point, once you finish selecting the tables you need to sync, you can click on Save and Continue. Next, we're asked how we would like to handle schema changes. From here, we can choose the default, which allows all, uh, in this case, if somebody adds a new table or column to the source, well, then that table or column will automatically get created in the destination. We can choose to restrict that to only allow columns, or we can choose to block all schema changes. Let's leave it as the default, allow all and click continue. And at this point, we're finished configuring the connection. All we need to do is click start initial sync. So at this point now, we've kicked off that initial historical sync of all the data that exists in the HubSpot tables. If we could take a look at the user interface here at the top, we've got our logs for this connector. Here you can take a look at all of the API calls that we are making to the HubSpot connector. These logs are maintained for a period of seven days after which they get purged. However, we do have a free Fivetran log connector that you can use to extract and download these logs and save them permanently. Next on the menu, we have the schema. This is the list of tables and columns that we chose to sync. And then over here on the right, we have the setup for this connector, including the credentials we provided and also the sync frequency, which defaults to once every six hours. We can have a preview of the, the status so far. We can see it's still syncing the data here. Um, I can flick over to the tab um, in Snowflake and just take a look at the destination. So we call our schema SAF HubSpot. We can see it doesn't exist here at the moment. If we go to refresh this, just do a refresh on the tab. And then scroll back down, we should now hopefully see that SAF 
HubSpot schema exists and the tables have already begun to be synced in there. So that concludes our demonstration on how to extract data from HubSpot, sending it to Snowflake using Fivetrap.